one, 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 dot, 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 okay? Times the sequence, one, 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 dot, dot, dot. And don't forget, these are the constant sequences. This is a power, has a power series, okay? Its power series is x to the zero plus x to the one plus x to the two plus x to the three plus dot, 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 which needs to be multiplied by the power series here which is, once again, it's the same thing, x to the 0 plus x to the 1 plus x to the 2 plus x to the 3 plus dot, 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 okay? And when we multiply the terms, we end up with the product, don't forget, the product, the coefficient of the x0 term is the product of the two coefficients, okay? Of, so it's going to be 1 times 1, okay? Plus the, co the coefficient of the x squared terms, this time there are going to be 2, okay? Now, keep in mind that the index must add to give us 2. So it's going to be, uh, sorry, of the x1 term, the x to the power of 1 term, okay, let's say x to the power of 1, the index must add to give us 1. So we're going to have the coefficient of x0 times the coefficient of x1, which is 1 times 1. So 1 times 1. Plus, we're going to have the coefficient of x1 times the coefficient of x0, okay, which is also 1 times 1, okay. Plus, the, now, the coefficient associated with the x squared term, keep in mind that the, the, that the indices must add to give us 2. So we're going to have the coefficient of the x0 term, which is a 1, times the coefficient of the x2 term, which is a 1, plus the coefficient of the x1 term, which is a 1, times the coefficient of the x1 term, which is a 1, because their coefficients at 1 and 1 gives us 2. Plus the final one is the coefficient of the x2 term, which is a 1, times the coefficient this time of the x0 term, because zero, 2 plus 0 gives us 2, which is also 1, plus dot, dot, dot. What do we end up with here? You can see 1 times 1 is 1, so that gives us x0, plus 1 plus 1 gives us 2x1, plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 gives us 3x2, plus dot, dot, dot. So what have we got? We have a sequence here, which is effectively 1, 2, 3, and so on. You can actually see that the next term, let's say the next term, say we put it in, okay, is going to be the x cubed term. Okay, the x cubed term is going to have is going to have four terms in it, okay, and each index must the product of the, the sum of the indices must add to give us three. So it's going to be z, x zero, the coefficient of x zero times the coefficient of x three, which is one times one plus the coefficient of x one times the coefficient of x two, which is one times one plus the coefficient of x2 times the coefficient of x1, because 2 and 1 gives us 3, it's also going to be 1 times 1, plus the coefficient of x3 times the coefficient of x0 gives us 1 times 1. And you can actually see what's happening here. 1 plus 1 plus 1 gives us, that's going to give us 4x cubed, plus dot, dot, dot. Okay? So the sequence continues on in that fashion. So now we have a 4 in here. So actually what you can actually see is what we've ended up with is we've ended up with that this particular that this particular power series that this power series uh, let's say encodes encodes uh, the natural numbers the natural the natural numbers okay so what is what is the generating function of the natural numbers so what is the generating the generating function function right, of the natural numbers the natural numbers well it's actually the product of the two generating functions of these sequences. So it's going to be, don't forget, uh, the generating function of the naturals, g1 of x, is simply equal to 1 over 1 minus x. So the product of them two sequences is going to be g1 of x times g1 of x. We can see that when we get the product of them, we have the power series, we end up with this power series here that's encoding the natural. So this becomes 1 over x, 1 minus x, okay? times 1 over 1 minus x, which gives us 1 over 1 minus x squared, which is what we showed in a previous video using calculus, that the generating function, so now what we have is this, is that uh, g, let's say, double bold n of x is simply equal to 1 over 1 minus x squared, okay? So I know there was a lot here in relation to and a lot of indices that we were playing around with, okay? But hopefully what we can actually see now is the power 
of is that when we actually want to multiply two sequences together, okay, uh, well, then what we could actually do is we could abstract away from the look, looking at multiplying them together, okay, and we could look at the product of their generating functions because the product of the generating function has associated with it a generating poly, a generating power series, which is the power series that encodes the product of the product of the sequence itself. Okay, guys, once again, this is Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats, and I hope that this video was in some way uh, intuitive. The next video, we'll do some more examples in relation to uh, multiplying multiplying uh, sequences. Yeah, uh, I hope that this video was in some way uh, intuitive. And more importantly, I hope that was helpful. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye bye.